This cartoon shows the femoral approach for transcatheter aortic valve implantation. The introducing sheath and dilator is inserted via the femoral artery to the descending aorta and the dilator is withdrawn and then the TAVI equipment is introduced. In order to keep the crimped valve as thin as possible, which in turn keeps the puncture in the femoral artery as small as possible, the valve and deployment balloon are kept separated until after both are in the descending aorta. Now the balloon is withdrawn back into the centre of the crimped valve, the diameter of the combination increasing slightly, and now that the valve is on the deployment balloon, it is advanced around the aortic arch and across the stenosed aortic valve. The pusher is then withdrawn and the valve is very carefully manoeuvred to be in exactly the correct position for deployment across the native aortic valve. When the correct position is achieved, the heart is rapidly paced to reduce movement and the deployment balloon is inflated. This expands the new valve's metal stent frame, pushing the native valve's leaflets aside. And once the deployment balloon is deflated, the new leaflets start to function normally within the expanded stent frame. All the equipment was withdrawn and the valve is assessed to make sure it is working well with no blockage to the coronary arteries and no leak causing aortic regurgitation around the valve ring and no injury to nearby structures.